30 minutes of all your sports. Basically, sports on the full view. First up, our lead story for the evening. We talk rugby news. Now, the man credited for turning the Lions Rugby Union's fortunes around, Kevin de Klerk, has hung up his boots after 50 years of service to the game. The 68-year-old president of the union has retired to spend more time with his family and, well, at his family business. De Klerk is the undisputed Lion King of South African rugby. In 1968, he attended the then Transvaal under-20 trials and went on to play 107 matches at senior level for the union and 13 tests for the Springboks. Under his administration, the Lions regained their pride, reaching three Super Rugby finals and winning two Curry Cups. In 2012, the Lions were dumped out of Super Rugby. They returned in 2014 and have been the best local side since 2016. It's one of the Clark's biggest highlights. I think simply um, adopting an attitude that uh, we will definitely not give up on this fight. And I think that caught everybody by surprise. And uh, we walked this town <coughs> from left to right, north to east to west, north to south, uh, looking for sponsors. Uh, we basically left our own ends insofar as um, setting up a competition that we attempted to do. We played Vodacom Cup at that stage, but we're out for most of that season um, in 2013. And then meeting up with the, the EP Kings that had just gone through a reasonably successful uh, stint in Super Rugby, uh, getting all that experience. And as I explained to you, won those two encounters by two points. But while his is a story of success, the challenges facing South African rugby as a whole are growing. And the clerk says some unpopular decisions might have to be taken. I think sponsorships are very, very hard to come by, and which understandably is the business under strain, and specifically our economy in South Africa and worldwide. Uh, and, you know, there's probably a few very hard, tough decisions that will have to be taken going forward in terms of, let's say, the number of unions that will continue to exist and also, let's say, the number of players that will be able to accommodate in the system. The Lions Rugby Union says a replacement for the Clerk will be announced in the next month or so after internal processes were followed. Harry Wolifir, SABC News, Johannesburg.